Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to make another quick video here of something that I got in the mail that I ordered from eBay. It came a day or so ago, and uh, I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to open it on video, so it's kind of exciting for me. So, um, this is something that's nostalgic for me. I haven't had what's in here, what's supposed to be in here, since I was really young, like before I was a teenager. So, um, I'll talk about it more after I open it, but... Uh, yeah, so after I did my uh, movie lot video the other day, like the 50 plus movies, I found out that I had at least six duplicates, so I really need to work on making a list, and honestly, yeah, I need to make lists on my games too, because I was going to get a game the other day, but I didn't know if I already had it or not, it's kind of crazy, but, alright, let's get to this, what is this? Maybe you'll already know from the thumbnail, because I'm probably not going to edit this too much, but this is pretty cool. Okay. Wow, just a little bit of packaging here. Okay, what is this? Do you see that? The Simpsons, right? It's Marge. So, what this is is when I was younger, I really loved The Simpsons, and I still do now, but I don't keep up all the time, but, you know, when I would go to my grandpa's, he had Fox, and that was kind of a special thing, because usually my parents, it took us a long time to get cable, like in my teenage years, but before that, we usually just had, like, Channel 7 and 10, it was CBS and NBC. Well, my grandpa had a really good antenna, and he got Fox and some other channels, and uh, so when I would go to his, I'd watch... The Simpsons, you know, after school, it'd be on at like 5 o'clock, like evening or whatever, and uh, it would be, uh, you know, a special thing. And uh, anyways, at that time, they had these Simpsons trading cards in Walmart, and uh, so I would get these, and I was really into art and drawing, and I still love art and stuff, but I, I'd, I'd tried to draw the Simpsons characters, and so I would get these trading cards, and I would draw them. And uh, I would, you know, I would copy them just by looking at it, and I would just kind of learn how, you know, how they look and everything. And I would, I had like a notepad, like the size of this or something, you know, where I would draw them. I would make them bigger. I'd blow up the copies. And then I like uh, tacked these like all along the, like the wall, the top, like by the ceiling. So I had a bunch of them. And uh, these in particular are... Um, Smellorama cards. Now, these cards had a little scratch area, which, you know, they're used up now on these, but I don't know if I can still... It still kind of has a smell. I don't think, I don't know if I, I don't think I owned every single one of these, but some of these I do remember. That's awesome. It still kind of has that spicy hint to it. And I can't really describe. <laughs> the, the smells are supposed to be kind of bad. This is like a Hairspray, I guess it's not supposed to be so bad, but that's Marge, Marge, um, and it says, scratch Marge's hair to discover the secret of its eternal buoyancy. On the back of it, it has Marge's Guide to Glamour. It has a whole bunch on there. Um, some people sell the entire sets of cards, so I might buy that, but I didn't know, you know, if these were all going to come in there. These were kind of, I thought these were particularly really cool, these smell rama you know, scratch and sniff cards or whatever. Um, but yeah, I would like to buy the whole sets that they sell. Um, this one says, scratch the tire dump to discover the smell that made Springfield famous. So there's a tire dump there. I don't think that I ever had that one. It's cool how they have the border like that, I remember. That's cool. On the back of it, it says Springfield's Top Tourist Attractions. And so I'm not going to read and go over everything, but... Um, Homer not only dreams in color, he dreams in odor, too. Scratch the Dancing Donut to share his fan fantasy. I think I remember having this one. There's Dancing Donuts there with Homer, so you can scratch those and smell them. They have a little... They stick out a little. There's this one, this one donut here. You can see it when you hold it to the light too. You can see. That's awesome that I can still smell that, and I can't. It's hard to describe the smell because it's definitely like, kind of like a unique 
Like I said, it's kind of like spicy. I don't know. It says Homer's uh, Simpsons rules to live by on the back. Huh. Uh, I think that I had this one with uh, the cat. I don't remember what the cat's name is. Ever wonder what a hairball smells like? Scratch Snowball. Okay, yeah, Snowball 2's hair, hairball to find out. It's not for the squeamish. There's a hairball there. It's kind of on my finger from... That one might not smell as good. <laughs> it says not for the squeamish. <laughs> it's time to change. Let's see what it say on the back of it. It says Snowball 2's bottom 13. Okay. It says, is it time to change Maggie? Scratch your diaper if you dare. That one has Maggie. And it has Moe's 10 most hated prank phone calls. <laughs> That's funny. I might go over these more some other time. Wait, that was a different one. I'm sorry. That was the back of one with Moe's. I picked up two at the same time. Maggie Simpson's bottom 14. Whoops. So this one was a uh, Moe's one. I'm not sure if I had this one. Scratch the jar to discover the magical flavor that keeps Moe's customers coming back for more. It looks like... Uh, Hard-boiled eggs. I think I remember having this one with uh, Marge's sisters. You can scratch their feet. <laughs> it says, scratch Patty and Selma's feet to discover why Bart, Lisa, and Maggie are nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I had this one or not. Um, Apu, which he's no longer a character in the show. But please try your, let's see, scratch the squishy to discover Apu's secret ingredient. The quickie mart. Uh, let's see, whoops. Oh, darn it. Get a mess. Now, this is the main one that I definitely remember having, and that is Barney's Burp. Barney's Burp. <laughs> That's the one I definitely remember having. What makes Barney such a big hit with the ladies? Scratch his fume cloud to find out. Hmm. It's still hard for me to describe the smell because that's why I wanted these again. I was hoping that there would still be kind of a smell there. There definitely is on these cards. Man. I just can't describe it. Hmm. Anyway, here's one that cook in a stew. The lunch lady Doris. And we're back to Marge. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine of them. Ten. I think maybe I missed one. Maybe ten. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think that I had all of these, but I remember some of them, but you know, you'd buy a pack, sometimes you'd get duplicates and stuff, like you never know what you get in a pack uh, of trading cards, but man, these Simpsons trading cards, I guess there was different kinds too, I guess there was like an earlier, like this was in the 90s, but I guess um, there was an earlier Simpsons cards too, but uh, man, this definitely brings back memories, so thanks for sharing your time with me, guys, I hope you find this interesting. Did any of you ever have trading cards? I was never really big into sports and stuff. You know, I had some friends that had Marvel cards and, you know, obviously Pokemon stuff's a huge thing now. Um, I was never really a card collector of anything. I really remember when I was really young that I got in trouble for stealing some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards, and I don't even really remember those, but um, I just remember at the store, like I pocketed them, and then I told my dad when we were outside the store, I was like, look what I got, and he's like, no, you need to take those back. Uh, but these Simpsons cards, and these these were the one cards that I had, and I loved to draw the Simpsons characters, and I know that even my parents would remember, you know, that I loved these. But I just thought it was so cool that you could scratch and smell these. You know, it added like a different dynamic to them.
So these are in really great shape. And I only got these for like $7 or something. So if I buy the whole set or whatever, you know, that's like $30, $40, $50, whatever. Because, you know, there's quite a few cards. But, um, you know, and they're going to be rare. So I probably will jump on that. I'll probably get that. But I wanted to make sure that I got these because remembering these, I mean, that's that's a great $7, you know, spent to me. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Don't you love The Simpsons? And I don't know what what really made me think about getting this, but there was a Game Sack video game review where he went over like The Simpsons video games, and there were some that I didn't know about, and I bought them like as soon as I could. So I think that kind of had my mind on The Simpsons, and I was thinking of like I've been kind of thinking about you know my childhood in the past, like what are some things that I wanted or some things that I had, kind of very nostalgic. And, you know, with The Simpsons, you know, I remembered this. And I was like, I just wonder if I could just find those on eBay. And, yeah. So, that is awesome. That is awesome. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these, though. They did come with this little, little case. So, I'm going to put them back in here for now. I'll just maybe just pull them out every now and then and just smell them. <laughs> Just to get a whiff of the past. Alright guys, God bless.